Okay, I kind of wanted to make a video explaining this because I can't find uh, an explanation anywhere and it took me a long time to figure out some of this tech. Uh, I haven't hit 20 seconds yet, but I, I don't think I'm going to, but uh, I can show you how to do 30 and kind of explain the tech. Uh, also, I'm very new to this game, so uh, maybe... If I say something wrong, please forgive me. Okay, so the main tech for this is like it's a dash at the end of a uh, scale rush, and you just time it with the end of a uh, end of the sword animation. Uh, there's other ways to do this, like double uh, double dash. You don't need it for thirty seconds. I didn't use it. I cannot do it for the life of me. So here's my run. Okay, ignore that. Okay. Also, I don't think going off of these signs and the little fire thing there on the right, I don't think it's totally necessary. From what I can tell, um, you always get to the wall at around 350 or 4 seconds. So I don't think you really have to do that. This part here is the hardest part for me so far. It's also the last part that I added to the run. It's like the cherry on top that finally got me under 30 seconds. Also, uh, I just want to point out that uh, this run that I'm doing is based on this video by K Potato Server, K Potato Server, and I'm basically hitting all the all the stuff that they hit in this run. Uh, if you want this, I'll I'll put it in the description. But let's uh, let's go through it again. So basically, for the dash, just at the end of the animation of the sword, you just wanna you just wanna press shift. I got the little overlay here. And shit. Well, uh, shift. You you would do it there. I didn't have enough height. Uh, I want to point out here that if you if you jump from here, you'll almost always clear the the next platform without having to mantle it. I didn't do it here. And for this one, um, you, you, you'll have to mantle it if you don't like go to the left. So I just started going to the left. You see I'm holding shift and A right now. Just right there on the corner. You can go around the corner too and it still works. And then boom, dash, jump. Right here, we jump to the left and then use the double jump to ensure that we stick to the wall. Boom. Get that one too. And this one, uh, you want to kind of go toward the middle and try to do it low. I don't think you totally have to do this one. You can just slide down this. But, I mean, every second counts, so, I mean, do it if you can. Uh, just It takes a lot of practice. Boom. Oh, easy. This one, you can go from either of these wheels. In the video I mentioned before, she goes, they go from the, the one before this one. But the, the objective is just to go as high up on this as you can. Well, not as high as you can, because you'll, you'll actually clear it, and it's really annoying. But, you know, about about two thirds of the way up two thirds halfway somewhere in that area single dash land on it go for the other one land on it and this wall here you can do a scale rush off of it and it's very fast i don't know if i do it here i do okay yeah pretty much uh on this wall if you can land like here in between the holes, it'll turn and you can just go through the hole 
or yeah, it's pretty forgiving as long as you can stick to it. See, that one was like totally jank. You can slide down this. This is very important. You want to slide off right here. There's like a little in the, the vertice here, just kind of it, it bends down like a U and it just kind of drops you out. And you can land on this scale rush dash scale rush dash. And there you go. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> so I, I just had a lot of trouble finding how to like the timing for the dash and I found a video with three comments and one of them was like uh, just dash at the end of the animation and it, it blew my mind that's the exact information that I needed and it helped me a lot and I hope this helps you good luck